Boeing 737 MAX is cleared to fly. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration on November 18, 2020 cleared Boeing 737 MAX to fly again, after 20 months of grounding followed fatal accidents that caused the death of all passengers and crew members. Investigations showed that the MCAS malfunction caused both accidents. So what are the updates made by Boeing to get this clearance? From here and their channel. Major updates have been done on the MCAS, these updates include. 1. MCAS software function is required to operate in unusual flight conditions only. 2. It will rely on two sensors instead of one, as was the case before. Each sensor will submit its own data to the airplane's flight control computer. The data will be compared and MCAS will only be activated if both sensors agree. 3. It will activate only once. In the accidents happened before, the system activated repeatedly in short period causing the planes to crash. 4. It will never provide more input than the pilot can counteract using the control column alone. 5. In addition, MCAS will never have the priority on pilots. The pilots will continue to have the ability to override MCAS at any time, to take control of the airplane. Additional updates. A few items unrelated to the accidents are also updated. These include modifying some wiring to meet U.S. Federal Aviation Administration requirements, and installing two additional software updates. Enhancing the flight control computer software to provide more cross-checking between flight control computers. Other requirements. Fixing the above-mentioned points is not enough to make the plane fly again. Pilots must undergo simulator training, which was not required when the airplane was introduced. During training, pilots will complete a suite training modules that provide them with an enhanced understanding of the 737 MAX flight control system, including MCAS, and related changes to airplane software. The regulator in each country will determine final training requirements. Boeing did not fix the physical unbalance in the plane due to the use of bigger engines, they only fix the software that counteract it. So physically the plane still unbalance. From here and their channel. Will the 737 MAX flies all over the world again? No, not for the time being, because the FAA has lifted the order that suspended 737 MAX operations for airlines under its jurisdiction, including those in the U.S. only. Boeing have to work with other global regulators and airlines in order to return the airplane to service in their jurisdictions. Will the 737 MAX acquires trust again? That may not be easy, especially for the passengers. Boeing have to work hard on this issue. Return to service. Whether a plane was manufactured after the grounding, or it is already in a customer's fleet, it has to go through a rigorous FAA-defined process before returning to service. Preparing airplanes. Airplanes that have been in storage must undergo a comprehensive activation process before they can be considered ready for return to service. Inspecting airplanes. After each airplane is prepared, it will be thoroughly inspected against a robust set of criteria defined by the FAA. After 20 months on the ground, Boeing 737 MAX may soon fly again, ending a tragic episode that cost 346 people their lives and did serious damage to the big U.S. jet builder. Watch more videos from this channel. From here and their channel.